Well, this is the device starting up and uh, you're presented with this uh, yellow background with the white sun on it, which then moves into this Skype animation. Uh, the device doesn't take too long to set up. Every time you, you turn on, it either looks for uh, wireless connections that you've previously set into the device, um, or if you haven't, then you're given the option of selecting one and putting in your password. If you're on a wired connection, then it doesn't do any of that searching. It just goes straight onto um, your uh, internet connection and loads up your contacts. Now the main screen here is rather nice. You get a nice large clock. Uh, you've also got a battery um, indicator on the side here, which shows that it's uh, actually charging at the moment. And the current time in small. You also get your sign-in name as well as your status and if you're on a wireless connection you get a wireless strength indicator here and then your screensaver as such just is a random selection of the contacts that you've got stored in the device. Now pushing the home button here brings up the main uh, way of navigating the device. Now I'm going to give you a closer look at this. It's a really, really nice screen and you simply navigate using this four-way controller here. Let's zoom all the way over to, to this side here and we've got a settings icon. If I select that, I can control various settings for my video, sound, profile, calls, privacy, network and advanced settings. Let's just have a look in that advanced one just to give you an idea. We've got uh, screen brightness here, the date and time setting, language, uh, port settings, software update, device information, as well as resetting the device. Now I can either go back one stage to here, or I can push my home button, and that'll take me all the way back out to that main home screen. Searching, I can actually search for contacts uh, to, to add into my device. I can also add a contact here and this is much like the desktop uh, version of the uh, Skype software where you can add a Skype contact or add a telephone number. Call phones, if I select this the dial pad comes up where I can actually navigate round and just make that one off call which is nice and if I move across here this takes you into your main contacts which you scroll around a uh, phone icon means it's a Skype out number and a little person could be a photo or just an icon representing a person means that they're a Skype contact. History shows the history of the calls you've recently made or if you've missed calls or if you've got answer phone messages in status, you can change your current status from online, for example, to away. See myself is for setting up the video camera here. Now, all you're going to see is a reflection of the camera. If I put my hand in front of the camera there, you can see that showing up here. Let's just hold this up here just for this example. I can actually um, uh, take a snapshot on the screen which could be my profile picture or I can adjust the brightness or I can go into advanced settings which allows me to adjust contrast, saturation, sharpness, hue as well as some frequencies to get rid of lines or resetting all the data and then back out to the main screen I've got account settings here which is where you'd key in your username and password now in use, this device is really, really easy to use. The speaker on the front is nice and clear. The microphone is also really good. When I've made calls with this, the recipients have said that my voice is nice and clear as well, so that's a great thing to hear. The camera, although it's only 0.3 megapixels, it's not a problem. We're only sending low resolution video images uh, across your broadband connection for a Skype call so it hasn't got to be any higher quality than that but certainly uh, this has um, 
this, this camera does deliver a good enough quality and it picks up a nice amount of uh, contrast and detail. Um, the cost, this could be a deal breaker for some. It's going to cost you between 180 and 200 pounds in the UK. Now that seems quite a lot. You are getting a very sturdy and useful device. If you use Skype all of the time, then 180 pounds is a pretty good investment. Uh, you can obviously pick up Wi-Fi handsets for around about the 100, 120 pound mark if that's what you want. But for something with the built-in web camera that can sit on your desk and handle all of your Skype calls and your Skype out calls with such ease, then it is quite a good price um, if you take that into account. I'm hoping, as I said earlier in my review, the Asus release a version two of this unit and if they do it would be really nice if they can keep the price point the same and also include perhaps uh, Bluetooth connectivity and that would mean that the £180 asking price represents even better value for money. Well thanks very much for listening this has been my review of the Asus e video phone also known as the AI Guru SV1 Come back soon and check out more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk. This video review is sponsored by Roxio, leaders in digital media software, including Toast 9, which contains a wide range of breakthrough features that empower Mac users to make the most of their digital media.